All right, guys. So we have some brand new news today. Um, this is going to be another one of those weeks where we're getting news left and right. So probably expect maybe one more news video. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but either way, we have a ton of stuff to go over. Um, shout out to the Dokkan Battle subreddit as always. Um, I know a couple people have made a video on this stuff already, but I kind of wanted to throw my hat into the ring with some opinions on this. Um, but I was watching DeTruth's video on this this morning and uh, he was kind of reminding me, you know, like how important it is that we really shout these guys out because like we really wouldn't be able to play JP and know all the information that we do without the Dokkan Battle subreddit. So please go show them some love. Um, make a Reddit account if you don't have one. It's really easy. Um, sub to the Dokkan Battle subreddit. There's great info on there all the time, you know, as well as just fun posts and stuff. Um, and specifically the guy who made this post is koala -san, so shout out to him. Um, yeah, he made this one too. But anyway, um, we have everything that we've got in the brand new update. The actual app is updating. Um, be sure to update the app on Android and iOS. I know the iOS has been having some problems lately um, because the app store is apparently broken with the new iOS. So you might have to uninstall the game and reinstall it. Make sure you got those transfer codes. Make sure you got, um, you know, your Facebook backup because you don't want to lose your game. Um, always have it backed up somehow. Anyway, um, we're going to talk about everything brand new. Also, one thing that I want to note, um, I'm not going to put it up because then I would have to like put my phone on the screen. Um, the only banner that I can see right now is for some reason um, the friend summon banner. The other banners that are supposed to be up, like Super Vegito still here and the, um, the Kefla banner, by the way, that's what I'm going to call her throughout the video, so I apologize in advance, um, are not showing up for me, which I don't know if that's just a glitch on my end or what, but I don't know. Either way, let me know if that's the case for you too in the comments section below. Um, but either way, we're going to go over all this brand new stuff. Um... So let's talk about it. So finally, the Extreme Z Awakening stuff has been added into the game. Um, the event to get the medals, which we'll go over that in a second. Um, the event to get the medals is here. Um, right. Implemented Extreme Z Awakening. More info to come. So it's you can Z Awaken characters right now, kind of. The event is in the game, but you can't access it. Um, basically, you know how we have those different like columns of categories of types of events on JP? I'm sure you've seen it um, in you know different showcases and whatnot. There's now a fourth column to the right of all of those, and it's grayed out. And you currently can't click on it, but that's where the Z Awakening will be. Um, so you just can't access it right now. Because of Z Awakening, the level max indication on a character has been removed. It will now be displayed in the yellow font. This is very trippy because I'm so used to, and it will be on global too, so that'll be really trippy. Um, it doesn't say max level if a character is max anymore. Um, it'll have their level um, highlighted in yellow if their level is max, which is really offsetting. I mean, I'll get used to it eventually, but... It's really weird seeing that number there and not just seeing it say max because I'm used to like just kind of like, you know, like putting the blinders on and not seeing that. But now that's catching me off guard. Um, but anyway, the purpose of that is to signify, you know, if a character is at, as is at max, excuse me, for the new Extreme Z Awakening. Um, change description of leader, passive, and super attack to better describe if it will affect extreme and super types. Um... I think what that is, I'm not actually sure what that is, to be perfectly honest. Um, someone was talking about, I believe it was Kay Vaughn on the Discord, was talking about how, um, actually, let's hop over to DBZ Space. We'll talk about all this in a second. Um, news is what we want. Here, um, Google Translate, you want to you wanna hit me up with the goods, fam? Thank you. Um, let's see. No, that was the emergency maintenance. Where is it? Here. No, no, no. This one. This one they were talking about. Um, something with like super attacks and extreme. And uh, my buddy Kayvon was saying that he thought that... Um, although these are... I'm not exactly sure what that is, to be honest. He was thinking that maybe um, they would make it so the characters who aren't, like, you know, extreme Z-awakened or super-awakened 
um would be able to be used to so like a character that's a villain but you know it's just like an ssr that goes um you know or like an sr you know what i mean it's technically not a super type because it hasn't awakened yet so maybe that was what they were doing not too sure on that one but i don't think that one really matters too much um if you know any information about that please throw it in the comment section below uh, from now on, any gold capsule that can be attained in the Awakening Metal stages will be guaranteed a medal for the type that the stage belongs to or either a Supreme or Elder Kai medal. That's pretty cool, honestly. I, I I know that, you know, some people, like, it, you really don't run those too often. They are good for farming up the medals, but, like, if, if you're running out of medals, those are good to farm, so I'm glad that that's more, like you know, exact. Now, I never really realized that that was the case. That's kind of interesting. Um, and then some just bug and UI changes, so that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Leader skill and passive can change. This isn't working uh, unless I just copy it. Actually, you know what we can just do? We can do that. All right, this is talking about um, the Extreme Z Awakening, which we'll get into that in a second. Um, oh, and by the way, for extended maintenance, you get 15 dragon stones, and we may have gotten a double login bonus, um, because the maintenance went really long yesterday, and, um, some people might have not gotten their daily login, um, because I know when I opened up the game this morning, I had two extra dragon stones besides the 15 and a couple orbs, so I think that they gave us double the rewards just in case people didn't get their daily rewards, which is really cool. Let's talk about real quick this Goku. Oh my gosh, he is disgusting, my guy. <laughs> if you have this guy on JP, you're going to have a good time with him. Ooh, that's big. Um, you are going to have a good time with him, let me tell you. By the way, links to all this, if you want to read over it for yourself, are in the description below, as always. Anyway... Um, it looks like you're going to have to get different kinds of metals to get him, um, to these different levels. So as you can see here, this is going from 120 to 125. As you can see, it'll be a, um, a five level up there. And this person just doesn't have the medals. You need three of them and they don't have the medals because you can't actually access the event yet. Like I said before, but this, you can access this screen in the game. If you have, um, the Goku, which actually I haven't taken a look at it um, myself yet, but either way so then for the next one you're gonna need five bronze medals to get him to level still one level 125 but then his super attack will be 11 so that's interesting because we know with the whole um extreme z awakening they'll eventually get to 15 like they are down here so then seven more bronze medals um is level 130 still 11 10 silver medals is 130 and 12 super attack and then 30 silver is 130 again and 13. Then his leader skill changes, which is very interesting. It's literally Super Vegito's leader skill, which is really cool. Because if you're a free-to-play player, you can grind this out and you can get a decent AGL lead. So I think that that's awesome. Um, it's really cool, too, that they're just giving you more options for stuff to run. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a couple of these guys on the friends list, to be honest. If I could find them anyway. Anyway, um, we got 30 gold medals then for um, level 35 and SA14. And finally, um, 30 rainbow medals for level 140 and SA15. And then his passive skill changes. At the start of turn, um, own defense 70% up. And from the start of the turn, uh, for 7 turns attack, 120% up. So that's awesome. That's giving him a super buff let's actually look um i know i'm sorry i'm not prepared i i i didn't i wasn't thinking about that i would need this i'm sorry I, um i wasn't thinking um i would need him no don't don't go down no <laughs> i'm a fraud i'm sorry i forgot that i would want to look at um i would want to look at um what do you call the original card is this him? Yes, it is. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, let's look. Um, so his leader skill before was plus three key and attack um, plus. Also, I just um, bumped the mic. Um, attack plus 3,000. Um, his super attack is supreme, by the way. That's something to keep in mind. And then his passive skill was attack plus 100% uh, from the start of turn for seven turns. 
So, that is a significant buff. He's getting more attack and defense. Very interesting stuff here. Super attack change. When you get to level 15 super attack. Dragon fist uh, extreme. Immense damage. Immense. He goes from... Um, where is it? Supreme to immense damage. That is insane. <laughs> That's so crazy. And then his stats is ridiculous. Like, a shout out again to the truth watching his video again. These are like LR stats. Like, he gets a, a, such a significant boost. Let's actually look. Here's his max stats right now, right? Awakened. Look at the difference from from that, like, 8,000-ish to this. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, That is crazy. And, of course, they're not 100% sure on these um, because, you know, they're still doing the calcs and stuff. This stuff is all new. So just be wary of that. But, yeah, this guy is going to be disgusting. <laughs> This guy is going to be disgusting. So you definitely want to get him. This is like way more than I thought that they were going to do, honestly. I knew that they were going to make him better, but I didn't think they were going to make him this much better. But this gives me a lot of hope for the future of this mode with the Extreme Z Awakenings for different characters. Because, oh mama, some characters are going to be broken, broken with this kind of power. So that'll be great. Like, imagine that in gohan i was talking about on that um on that uh xeno cast the other day oh it'll be great with him but one thing that you have to keep in mind for this look how much money these all cost this is ridiculous gold and rainbow 100k for the first one 100k again 200k 200k again, 300k, 400k, you're gonna need like a mil, actually wait, how much is that, that's uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that, there you go. <laughs> a lot of Zenny is the point. You're going to need a lot of Zenny to awaken this guy. So uh, you're going to need a lot. I unfortunately like don't have any right now. So I'm going to have to farm that up. Definitely hit up the Hercules challenge every day. If you want all that Zenny with the, um, you know, using the world tournament characters to get that extra boost. Because you're going to need it if you're going to want to awaken this guy. All right. Last thing that we're going to talk about here um, is the brand new... Actually, we'll go over the global thing too, um, just because we can. We'll go over the uh, the JP thing though first, because we're still on that JP train. So, um, the Kale and Khalifla fusion has been added into the game, and it is not a Dokkan Fest exclusive, which is crazy. If you remember yesterday's news video, we were talking about, you know, the leader skill. She's literally a category lead, pretty much almost as good as Ultra Instinct. Um, and like, you know, she is like Dokkan Fest exclusive equivalent, but she's not a Dokkan Fest exclusive unit. So she's going to be put into the SSR pool in the future, just like Mass Saiyan was, which is absolutely insane. As well, this banner is GSSR and there's only five SSRs on here. This is a guaranteed SSR banner with a really high chance to pull her. Like, a really high chance. Only five here. Kale and Khalifa are on there too, which is nice. And then Fitbu and um, Bergamo are on here as well, with bo which both aren't bad um, SSRs in their own right. But of course, you're going to be wanting to go for Kefla. And the LRs are on here. Of course, it's not updated with that information yet, but apparently... Um, We've gotten confirmation from some other places that the LRs are in here. It, you know, I would assume that too, this kind of banner, you know, usually the GSSR quote unquote filler banners, um, you know, usually have the LRs, but this, I would recommend at least doing one multi on here because it's GSSR and there's only five on there. And so that means that anything else you get, you know, obviously is a bonus and you could even get Killer Khalifa if you don't have them. All right. Then we're going to talk about something else. Then we're going to talk about um, Bandai being a little being a little sketch right now. 
Um, so this just dropped. I was actually up with um with a couple of bro to shout out to uh <laughs> shout out to Dokontero, Kyle, and Kayvon on the Discord. Um and Dokontero on YouTube, obviously. Um this banner dropped last night, the Rising Dragon Carnival, and it's just a double rate banner. Um, you know, it's got your standard like units on here, but the curious thing is that the first five multis that you do on this banner are only 15 stones for five characters. That is absolutely incredible. Well, I, and also the LRs are in here as well. Um, as you can see there right here, we actually do have the cards on this one since it's been out for a little bit. Um, what's very interesting though is that... Hold on, let me finish my first point. Um, I would only do the discount summons because it's a great chance to get an LR. Obviously, the SSRs are double rates. Um... And it's only five characters for 15 stones. That is an incredible deal. So, I excuse me. I just ate breakfast. I apologize. Um, I would just recommend doing the discount ones. You get five of those um, 15 stone summons. And then I believe it goes to multis. Don't go any farther than that. Um, obviously, you know, this is a good chance to get an LR. Some other cool units are on here. Um, you know, I'd love to pull Mass Saiyan on Global myself. But the thing is... It's very fishy that they're putting both of these banners out, not at the same time, I think that's just kind of coincidence, but I, a lot of the other YouTubers have been saying this too, I feel like with how good these banners are, it's an obvious trap that something really good is coming next. Like, I'm not saying that these banners aren't good because, you know, I would say that definitely Kefla is better in comparison, but, you know, you can still get the LRs on here and other cards and whatnot. Actually, I want to get a, I want to get AGL Golden Freeze on Global, but that's besides the point. Um, I feel like this is just saying, hey, we want your stones. <laughs> so then people will be forced to buy more when the next good thing comes out. So this, I feel like, is a sign. You know, obviously, we are pretty much confirmed that Inko Jita is coming next. So I would say just do the discount ones on this and then leave it be. Don't waste your stones. We obviously know that something big is coming next. Even on JP, this banner just kind of seems too good to be true. You know, obviously, it's a good banner, but it's just kind of screaming to me that something else is coming next. Um, but yeah, I think that's all we've got for today. Um, I know this was a bit of a longer one. We have a lot of news and, you know, I kind of went in depth on it and, uh, you know, I wanted to share a couple of my opinions cause I always like to do that with the news, you know, like share what I personally think about them. Um, but yeah, that's going to do for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and let me know too, if the friend zone banner is the only thing that you guys can see on JP as well right now. Anyway, that's it. Epic me too out. Peace.